the question that we've been asked is sometimes uh, the software shows that the client actually owes money when actually the client pays the money when we hit the client payment button the software does not allow you to enter it the reason why it does that is because if you hit the question mark things will be very clear clearly you didn't raise an invoice that means when the client actually pays that money you cannot put it in general account till the invoice is actually raised what we are suggesting here is you have two options one either raise an invoice or actually put the amount in trust and then raise the invoice later and then withdraw it later so let me actually raise an invoice and then try the same thing even if i have already raised the invoice if the amount is greater than the amount that is outstanding, the software will still not allow you to enter that. For example, if you put here $320, the software will immediately change it and say only 360 is actually eligible to be deposited into your general account. So the preference is under these scenarios, you actually deposit the entire amount in trust and then withdraw from there just the account's balance. So to summarize, what we are suggesting is if the payment is actually greater than the amount that has actually been invoiced, we strongly suggest that you deposit the money in trust and then withdraw just what is actually allowed to transfer from trust into general. Now, if you wish to override it and say like, this is what exactly you want to do. You can actually override this restriction and say, I want to put $400 into, into my general account. That's possible, but do pay attention to what the software has actually calculated and it's trying to hint you.